We march on. We move. Another off season here. We got to get through it again. No lottery luck whatsoever. Toronto, San Jose, both move up in this lottery. We stand with the 12th overall selection. Let's see how this draft plays out. Uh, do not be surprised if I try to make a move to move up, especially knowing that someone like Rick DiPietro is probably getting traded. Terms of retirements, Germán Titoff, Dave Andrichuk, oh, retired before he won a cup in Tampa. Steve Thomas, Kirk Muller, Eddie Olchek. Obviously, the career point totals are uh, skewed. And say goodnight to Sean, don't call me Shajan Podine. Kelly Buckberger, not Zach Senishin. Someone actually played him. And 23-year-old Shane Wright. Rocking a 48 overall. Somebody actually played him in games. Defense, Phil Housley. Chris Chelios, the old fuck. Retire. And he did. Paul Coffey's gone. Gary Suter. Dave Manson. Among others. Mark Berger Van. The biceps has retired. And in goal. Wow, Wah did not retire. But Van Beesbrook, Ken Reggett, Bob Essenza. Among others, Glenn Healy, Grant Fuhrer have retired. So Patrick Waugh sticking around for another season. All right. Trade block, I feel like, is good. It is the 2003 draft. It is our final draft with real players in the mix. And nobody wants to trade ahead of us. We are stuck at pick number 12. Shit. Okay. Well, knowing then that we're stuck at pick number 12, first and foremost, can I trade it? A second, a third, and Petroff. Two seconds. Nicholas and a third, and oh, it's the only one that I consider there is two seconds, but I guess we're just going to hold it. Not ideal. Goalie wise, Lundqvist is ready. Lundqvist and Luongo in goal next year. Rick DiPietro's got to go. Does anybody want him? Dallas for a fourth. Matt Stajan. Yuri Fisher, a third round pick from Montreal. Philly as well. Uh, I will take my chances with a third round pick. And we are going to send him. To Montreal, because Philadelphia is a division rival. Rick DiPietro is a hab for a third-round pick. Luongo and Lundqvist are going to be the tandem moving forward. To the surprise of nobody. We'll see what happens with the likes of Hiller and who kind of fills up those AHL spots. Chara's up to a 91. Got gold truculence. Let's go, Z. Old truculence for Chara. Campbell's still looking good. Not much developments on that front. Give me one second here. One second. Uno momento. I'm not too worried about the number one pick going through for Toronto. It is what it is. So I'm waiting for a text to come through. We should be fine. Um, I don't really think we have too much else to do here, right? I think there's anyone that we have to immediately have to get rid of, like maybe Jeff Finger. I don't know. Goodness. Hold on. All right. Dumont, Verbata's up to an 83. Hunter was obviously better. Nash up to an 86. Heatley up to an 85. Center position's looking really good. With the first overall pick, the Toronto Maple Leafs selects Patrice Bergeron. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know how anybody feels about that. <laughs> oh, man. That is bizarre. That is bizarre. 
Let's see. Jason Spezza. Still a third liner, but up to an 83. Uh, which is tremendous. So Spezza's still looking good. Connolly's a second liner. Zetterberg's a second liner. McDonald's a second liner. McDonald won't have any trade value because his deal is up, right? Indeed. Be better to work out a sign and trade with him, I would say. I don't think we're going to look at moving any of our big names here. At least not at the moment. We can wait until free agency. We could get the 28th overall pick for Dumont, but eh, 26th overall, 25th. The X and a third, the 16th overall. Not worth it. We're keeping Dumont. But yeah, the team's, the team's looking pretty good, and we know that the players are going to have further development from here. With the second overall pick, the San Jose Sharks select generated prospect Saren Heimo. Carolina at three. Take another generated dude in Cooper. The Lightning at four. Another generated dude in Valcourt. St. Louis at five. Eric Stahl. LA at six. Brent Burns to the Kings. This is the most cursed draft I think I've ever seen. I think I have ever seen. My goodness. With the seventh overall pick, Calgary selects Ryan Getzloff. So Getzloff goes seventh. Damn. This wasn't the right draft to have the 12th pick. Detroit selects Corey Perry. The fact that Anaheim, or yeah, the fact that Anaheim ended up with these two in the same draft is insane. Atlanta at nine. Shea Weber, boy, let me tell you, you're going just a little bit further south than you originally did. Shea Weber to the Atlanta Thrashers. Damn. Damn. The Boston Bruins at 10 select a generated dude, Jim Ronaldo. So we're one pick away. We're going to be looking at the likes of Zherdev, Horton, Dustin Brown, a couple of the generated dudes, but where's the fun in taking generated dudes? Colorado still wants to move that 16th pick. The Rangers at 11 select Nikolai Zherdev. Fuck. I was really hoping to end up with him, actually. Do the Colorado Avalanche have an interesting trade in mind for that 16th overall pick? <sighs> What's the point, though, if I'm just going to take... If I'm just going to take... Someone like Kessler... Maybe flurry at that point. I don't think it's worth the value. With the twelfth pick again, there is someone here like Millman. He's going to be a beast. But where's the fun? Where's the fun in taking this dude? Where's the fun? I, I want guys that were actually there. Nathan Horton can't play defense. That's a C. NHL ready. Nathan Horton. I do love me some Nathan Horton, and he could replace Dumont on the right. Dustin Brown, tremendous physical player. One year out, unconfirmed abilities. Not worried about Morgan McCult, but again, he's going to be great, is what it is. Matt Molson, I wouldn't risk it for Matt Molson. Milan Mahalik, not a great skater. He's good defensively, though, has quick pick. Kessler, one year out for Kessler. Unconfirmed abilities. Thomas Vanek. Not a great skater. Not the best defense. One year out. Does have Snappy and Schnipe. Jeff Carter. One year out. Unconfirmed abilities. Zach Parise. Jesus Christ. Mike Richards. 
Bacchus, Erickson. I mean, this first round is stacked. Suter and Seabrook are still to come as well. Can I trade down? I'm going to call a timeout here. Can I trade down? Because I feel like if I do, I could actually get good value out of it to trade back up later on. Nah, none of the trade downs are worth it. Unless I were to trade down to like Colorado at 16 and just keep trying to accrue draft picks, go like full Bill Belichick style. Do you have anything else that I would want? Uh, yeah, I mean, you have Keith Ballard. I'll take Keith Ballard to move down four spots. What say you? Close to fair value? Okay. Uh, anything else I can add into this? Um, can I interest you in a damn Blackburn? Because I'm not going to have space for him. <laughs> More than likely, at least. Any interest in Dan Blackburn? There we go. So we move down four spots. Colorado at 12 selects Millman, which is a fucking amazing deal for them, let's be honest. Nashville at 13, Nathan Horton. I mean, I expected Horton to be good, but like I said, I feel like we can keep trading down and still end up with someone really good. So Nathan Horton off the board. Love me some Horton, but it is what it is. Canucks at 14, Dustin Brown. 75 overall, had abilities as well. Like I said, we can't get all of these guys, so we might as well just see who falls to us. And then Arizona at 15 takes Matt Molson. A little bit surprised at that. So at pick number 16, McCult, Mahalik, Kessler, Vanek, Carter. We're trading down again. Let's go talk to Ottawa about pick number 18. I'm just going to keep getting value where I can until whoever's left is left. There's no reason not to. Um, even if we can't get that much out of this, what about your fifth and seventh this year? What about just the fifth? How about a sixth? Uh, how about two sevenths? Two sevenths to move up two spots. Jesus Christ, really? One seventh? Got a seventh round pick out of it. Uh, Ottawa takes Milan Mahalik. Go figure. Snappy and quick pick. Philly selects McCult. Leaving Kessler, Vanek, Carter, Parise, Richards, Bacchus. Vanek has confirmed abilities. I don't know about Parise. Carter doesn't have anything confirmed. Bacchus. Louis has nothing confirmed. Of course, Marc-Andre Fleury is coming up as well. I'd love to get another big project goalie in the system like Fleury. So we could trade down, or we could take Kessler. I can't imagine there's a huge gap between any of these guys, though, right? Like, they're all pretty similar. And I feel like I don't really have the value to trade up for these picks. Yeah, like look at the value of that first round pick from Dallas. You're talking like Brian Campbell. And there's no way. There's just no way. It's not worth it for us. So we're not going to be able to trade up to get more than one guy. Um, Dallas, if you're willing... To make a trade here, let's talk. I'll move down another spot. Even if it's another 7th rounder. Unless you have somebody... Ooh, Matt Stajan. Matt Stajan? Okay, I'm not surprised. Quite far off, but I should have... Another way to bring this through. Obviously it won't be uh, Andy McDonald. What about this dude Martins, who absolutely sucks? How do we feel? Quite far off in terms of value. Well, that sucks. What if I give you a fifth rounder? There we go. We move down one spot. Fifth and a chip prospect. And we get Matt Stajan. Dallas takes Ryan Kessler. 74, medium six. Had some abilities, of course. It's not surprising. 
The next team is Edmonton. So you're talking about three players going off the board here. Then at Carter Parise, that would leave us like Richards, Bacchus, Erickson. I don't feel like we should go any further than Louie in terms of trading down. But I do wonder if Thomas Vanek is the guy. Yeah, Richards has that C in senses. Erickson, it's just the skating. It's kind of average right now. One year out. Unconfirmed one year out. One year out. One year out. They're all going to be around a mid-70 for overall, yeah. I want to end up with one of them and then hopefully snag Marc-Andre Fleury as well. So we are going to trade down here with Edmonton as well. Like I said, I'm willing to full-on Belichick this draft. I don't really have anything that I'd want. A fourth rounder is probably too much, but let's see. Uh, what about a fifth rounder? Yeah, we can even do a sixth. Jesus Christ. Dude, draft pick value is insane. And it must be just because there's fewer draft picks to go around, right? Edmonton takes Thomas Vanek. Pretty good deal for them. As the shooting boost. Pittsburgh at 20 takes Jeff Carter. Jeff Carter off to Pittsburgh. Did it say Vanek was 6'5? It did. Players can grow. Snipe can add them in at their exact heights, but players can grow. And you gotta figure, he has been he he essentially starts off in the file as a 14 to 15 year old at his height. So Snipe would have to make people shorter on the file and then hope that they grow within franchise. So it's just one of those things. Washington takes Zach Parise. No abilities for him. That's a bit concerning. And then Chicago at 25. I feel like we have to take one of these top three. And then look to trade up with Chicago. Right? Richards, Backus, or Louis Erickson. Because if we don't. We end up at pick number 25 and 26, which would be Marc-Andre Fleury and then either like Clark MacArthur, Dion Phaneuf, Brent Seabrook, Suter. I mean, we, I still feel like we could do pretty damn well given the circumstances, right? Chat really seems to want Louis Erickson, though, which I understand. With the 22nd overall pick, the New York Islanders. That's a fair point, though. Right defenseman Brent Seabrook could be exactly what we're looking for. People were talking about defense pickups, man. Maybe we should aim for Flurry and one of the defensemen. That's been the theme. All of these guys have been forwards. Fuck, that is a fair point about defense. Go for Flurry and then either Fanoff or Seabrook. I know Seabrook's a righty, but we don't necessarily... I mean, yeah, the big defensive run is into the second round. fanoff has got the slap shot and the physicality, not much else. <laughs> John, John, what's up? Um, Seabrook's comparison is Chara. Apparently a D in defense. Uh, it's, it's barely scouted, though, for Seabrook. Ryan Suter, Matt Carl. Yeah, shit, maybe, you know, let's talk to Chicago. I think I've been won over. We already have good forwards, and that's all anyone was ever saying was, you got to improve your defense. Well, this is our chance. I know I might have to call a timeout here. I'd love to land Kevin Bieksa. As well, and I have somebody that has good value. I am well aware of the time. I do know that I have somebody here who's not so good. Um, unless he dropped. No, it was Lapisto. 22nd in Lapisto for the 25th in Bieksa. Quite far off. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Uh, what about a 6th and a couple of 7ths? 
All right, there we go. We have made the trade. We get Kevin Bieksa from Chicago. So the Hawks at 22 take Mike Richards. Montreal at 23 take David Backus. Florida at 25, Dion Phaneuf. Louis still there. Fuck, <laughs> Louis is still there. And that's what I was going to take. Oh my god, they took Dion Phaneuf. <sighs> okay. Let's talk to Buffalo. Because we need that pick regardless. What would it take to get that 26th pick away from Buffalo? It could be Kevin Bieksa. In all honesty. We do have a bunch of third round picks here. We also have some goalies that have some value. Now could be the time because Flurry, granted he won't be able to play in the AHL anytime soon. What if we use Jonas Hiller? Kind of as a basis for this. Um, let's do Jonas Hiller and Hanu Toivonen. Just because Toivonen is not under contract. Do I have anybody else who's not currently under contract? Svatos, this dude, Shing. How close are we? And now, yeah, we'll be looking into all those third round picks that we've accrued. Shit. Hiller, two thirds, Toivinen, and Shing. Hey, there we go. We got the 26th pick as well. If I can land the 27th, we can do the trifecta of Erickson, Flurry, and then either Seabrook or Suter. Maybe Carl or Girardi. Enstrom's there, but let's be honest, it should be Seabrook or Suter. And Seabrook as a right handed shot would be pretty important to us. I'm going to call another timeout and see if we can land this pick with New Jersey. The trading down and the sacrificing of players earlier might just pan out because we've picked up prospects like Kevin Bieksa, like Matt Stajan, and now three picks in a row <laughs> as a Bruins fan. Where could it go wrong? Fair point. We have the other goalie. We have Mike Smith. If we're going to be taking Flurry here, we can sacrifice the goaltending. I don't really want to sacrifice this guy here, Melvin Perez, that we drafted, but at the same time, I'm willing to. How close is that? Quite far off still? Okay. Um, in terms of value, I mean, we could use like Jeff Finger in the deal, but I don't think he's going to add much. It's Jeff Finger. Um, Chris Neal is not going to add much. Mike Rupp. Can I add, like, Christian Berglund to the trade? Still says quite far off. This is where the third rounder will come into play. 68, 68 overall. There it is. Three picks in a row for the New York Islanders with the 25th overall selection from Ferlanda, Louis Erickson. 73 overall, medium top six. I mean... You know, yeah, we could have gone for Vanek, Carter, Parise, Kessler, but they were 74s. We really didn't do that bad. The alternative would have been keep the 12th overall pick and take Nathan Horton. But at the same time, if we did that, we would not have had the value to do this. So we do end up with Louis Erickson. He does have abilities as well. Very defensive, but also has a good snapshot. Louis Erickson. With the 26th pick, we will select goaltender Mark andre Fleury. NHL ready? Are you joking? That could be bad for us, but Fleury's here. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, the goaltending situation just got pretty goddamn complicated, didn't it? Luongo Lundqvist Flurry. Wow. Oh, Di Pietro was already traded. Marc Andre Flurry is here. 
One pick to go. I'd say we did better than taking Nathan Horton. One pick to go. It is either... It's one of these defensemen. As much as I like Clark MacArthur, it's one of these defensemen. That is true. I don't have to immediately sign Flurry. So we look at some of the other defenders coming up, but again, we don't have a second round pick. Um, our scout does not know much. My nose. I might actually be getting sick. Our scout doesn't know much about Seabrook or Suter. I feel like it has to be Seabrook. I need a right-handed shot. Our scout did not do much in regards to the defense. I feel like it's got to be Brent Seabrook here. If you look at our top defensemen. Lefty. 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 Righty. 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 Left. It's got to be. So with that, we complete the trifecta. Erickson, Flurry, and Brent Seabrook. Okay. 68 overall, medium four. It's not crazy. Does have some abilities. All related to, well, actually not all related to defense. He has tape to tape and seeing eye as well. It'll take him a little bit of time to get there. But I still say that plus... Kevin Bieksa plus Matt Stajan is a hell of a lot better than just ending up with uh, Nathan Horton, despite my love for Nathan Horton. Uh, this turned out to be an insane draft for us, to say the least. Absolutely insane. Damn. With the team that we already have, that worked out really well. Goaltending just got pretty interesting. In regards to whether or not do we immediately sign Marc-Andre Fleury or go with three years of Luongo Lundqvist, although it won't even last three years because we'd eventually have to trade one of them anyway. Um, three high elite goalies of at least a 79 overall. Ridiculous. There is obviously not much else we can do in this draft now unless we wanted to trade one of the defensemen. But you look at the goalie prospects that we have now. We just added in Bieksa and Seabrook at this draft. And then the forwards were already looking great. Spezza, Connolly, Nash, Sederberg, Heatley, Dumont. Now Erickson, Verbata was already here. That's a hell of a situation. We only have a seventh round pick left in this draft, which is hilarious. Uh, the first round ends with the Anaheim Ducks. The Mighty Ducks, the Stanley Cup champions, selecting Clark MacArthur. So, shout out to Clark MacArthur, the final first round pick there. There's one more thing to look at. If we were to trade Roberto Luongo, no offers. Hank. Flurry. Connor Walchuk is better than you might think. He's a really, really good power forward, man. But he is 31 years old. Not worth it. Well, we'll see how the rest of the draft plays out. We don't have a pick until the seventh round. So uh, let's go ahead and make that. And then we'll take it from there. Did our scouts find us any steals? Not really. We'll take one of these four. Shout out to Lewis Shen. Christian Holmstrom, Chase Dryden. And three years out, Magnus Silverberg. I know he's 20, but let's take old Silverberg here. Low six. Yeah, not very good. We'll never end up signing him. We made four picks, three of them in a row in the first round, and what a way to go it was. Again, a reminder of what the first round looked like. We had the 12th overall pick, and we managed to turn that into the trifecta there. Tough to be upset about it, given that we had no way of trading up into the top 10. No one was willing to budge draft pick-wise. Second round, Ryan Suter went to Carolina. 
Enstrom to Tampa, Stepniak to Toronto, Matt Carl, Patrick O'Sullivan, Dan Girardi, Andre Kostitsin, generated, 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 Braden Coburn goes 11th, generated, Josh Georges, Mark Mathot, Nigel Dawes, Bernier, Eves, Drew Miller, Robert Nilsson, Brad Richardson, David Clarkson goes 21st of the second round. Eric Fair, Brian Boyle, obviously quite a few familiar names. In the third round, Corey Crawford to Vancouver. Shane O'Brien, Joe Pavelski went in the third fucking round to Calgary. Oh, my God. John Mitchell, Bruno Gervais, Mark Stewart, Kyle Quincy, Ben Lovejoy, Dan Fritz, Jason Garrison. Ooh, Brian Elliott goes to L.A. Halak and Jimmy Howard to Montreal back to back. <laughs> my God. Montreal is trying to learn from my playbook, apparently. <laughs> Dustin Bufflin goes in the fourth round to Tampa. Oh, my God. There was some steals. Mark Antoine Pouliot, Crombie, Tamalini, Carcillo to Detroit, Byron Bits, Paul Bissonette to Philadelphia alongside Tanner Glass. Ah, damn. Some good memes. We couldn't really prioritize the Bissonette meme, though. In the fifth round, it starts to die out a little bit. Matt Smobby, Jonas Gustafson, Tyson Strachan, Dylan Reese, Alex Salzer. Yeah, definitely starts to die out. In round number six, I can't imagine there's anybody. There's not anybody too good. Yeah. Not great. Not great, not great. Okay. There's a dude named Yoshi, though. Beautiful. Okay. So that is our final draft with real-life prospects, because that's as far as Snipe can go, based off of the available ages in the game. So the fun of the draft class officially ends. We'll put it back on medium here. Uh, it's like hitting the modern era in NBA 2K. <laughs> <laughs> it's so disappointing. But that was an insane draft for us, to say the least. This team is set up very, very well. Again, goalie-wise, we don't even have to sign Marc-Andre Fleury right now. I might. We'll see. We'll qualify Luongo. We'll drop Tim Thomas. We'll drop Wade Flaherty again. AHL goaltending is going to be in a bit of disarray here. NHL goaltending is insane. Defense. Char is a UFA. No salary cap, and he asked for it, baby. Eight years for Big Z. I won't say no to that. So we'll qualify Campbell and Brewer, Biron. Again, there is no salary cap right now, which is great. We'll keep Dimitri Kalinin. They even keep Jeff Finger. Uh, Schultz can go. And then Seabrook and Silverberg will never sign Silverberg. Seabrook will be in uh, junior for a couple of years. On the right wing side, Dumont, RFA. Got to keep Trent Hunter. Chris Neal, Vinehando. Got to sign Merrick Sfatos to his ELC. Left wing side. Alatalo, we picked up on waivers. He can go. Keep Pascal Dupuis. Uh, Donye. Donye and Darsh. We can hold on to these guys as AHL level players. Uh, Louis could be signed if we wanted him to be. He's kind of in the same situation Danny Healy was, where he could technically be played in the AHL, but should we? Um, we'll keep Tim Connolly. We will give Andy McDonald what he's looking for. He doesn't want an extension, though. We're probably going to have to overpay. doesn't really matter. Keep Zetterberg. Keep Kapanen. Eh, probably could have dropped Kapanen. Essa Pierness will, will drop. Uh, Riku Hall we can hold on to. Why not? All right. Let's see. Chara accepted. Captain stays. Andy McDonald accepted. I'm surprised. Darsh, Sfatos, and just like that, we are pretty much... Good to go. No UFAs to worry about. Just a boatload of RFAs to sign. But obviously, um, we can wait 
until the beginning of free agency to see who's out there. And a lot of guys will end up accepting the qualifying offers anyway. So we are going to have to re-sign some scouts. It's not a big deal. So free agency. Now that we know we are pushing for a playoff spot. Give, give me a second. I, I have, I, I have the perfect clip for this situation. I, I just, I need, I need your patience. I just need your temporary patience. Will this be worth it? I don't know, but it might be. It might be, and what I mean by that. What I mean by that is this. Come. Holy fuck. Come. I'm coming.